Spotify laid off a ton of employees this year and replaced them with robots. There's a heavy leaning on artificial intelligence and that could have contributed to Spotify wrapped totally sucking butts this year. Today, I'm gonna get into all of that drama, but before I do, hey, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Dan Frampton, and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about music. If you hit me with a comment within the first three hours, I will reply, and that, my friends, is a Frampton guarantee. Let's make sure the hat is standing tall, and let's commence the complaining. Now, every website and app out there today is scraping your data. Who are you? Where are you? How old are you? What gender are you? What are you listening to? What are you watching? What are you buying? How are you consuming food? What are all the things that we can do to advertise to you more effectively? And normally when people do it, it feels like spying because that information that they're gathering, that data is so valuable. This stuff is worth way more than gold in today's day and age and they're just gathering it and selling it. Gathering more and selling more. And as consumers, we should hate that. But Spotify dresses it up, or at least they have over the last couple years, to make it seem cool. To make it seem like, hey, I want this app to be spying on me throughout the year. And then you're customizing your listening habits so then your Spotify wrapped reflects what you think is cool. You're like, okay, I need to listen to more blah, 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 blah this year so that my Spotify wrapped says this at the end so that I can flex it on my Instagram stories. It's becoming quite the culture out here that I don't necessarily enjoy a whole lot, but there are aspects of it that I do find fun. There are aspects of it that I have come back for time and time again. And now that these features are missing, I'm actually a little bit annoyed that they're not there. Now you could have went through your Spotify rap this year and been like, hey, this is pretty cool, that's pretty cool. And there were some moments of that for me. But overall, when it was done, after I went through the entire slideshow, I felt like there was something missing. There was a void. And that void was that Spotify wrapped didn't tell me my top genres and didn't tell me my top albums. Remember these graphs over here? This like sandwich graph, this bar graph. Very, very cool. Even like a little pie graph over here. I enjoy this kind of stuff. And Spotify would actually go out of their way to make up names of genres. My top genre over the last three years was Dreamo. What the hell's Dreamo? They classified Drain as a Dreamo band, and they're like a thrash hardcore band. Dreamo, I guess. Anything that came from California was considered Dreamo for the last three years. So I never found it to be accurate or like a good depiction of what was going on inside of my soul and inside of my music listening habits but it was kind of fun to go through it and then go to work, talk to everybody about their wrapped, talk to the internet about your wrapped, look at everybody's on their stories. But this year was tremendously less fun. And Spotify as a corporation, getting rid of all those humans and leaning on AI is a huge contributing factor to all of that. Remember when Spotify used to tell you your listener personality or what sonic sound town you were from? No, no, no more fun. Just straight up data and facts. Now the data and facts is kind of what holds all this together, but all these fun little cool ways of packaging it is what made it shareable, is what made it engaging, is what made it exciting to talk about. And now the most exciting thing to talk about about Spotify Wrapped is how much butts it sucks. The graphic design used to be fun, used to be captivating, used to be engaging, and now this year it is basically nothing. They replaced listener personality and sound town and those awesome genre graphs with this crap. What is this crap? This is just AI generated nothing. Twinkly happy rock Midwest emo? What does that even mean? Where is my dreamo? Twinkly happy rock Midwest emo? In May, apparently, it was night music East Coast hip hop. Whatever the hell any of that means. Night music. And then this is so silly. Mall goth rock ish emo? And then it's bands like Captain Jazz. Ogret the Nerd, and Combat, when clearly it's Midwest emo and pop punk. Where are you getting Molgoth rock-ish emo? And then ish is its own capitalized word? Get out of here with all this. And then the overall big tally at the end. This is the least amount of minutes listened tallied in my wrapped 
of all time, and this year was my most listened to year. I have no idea where all my minutes went. I was allowed to have my own Spotify going at work, and I did from beginning to end of every single shift and normally my listening minutes are in the hundreds. I'm listening to music on the way to work, all day at work, when I'm coming home for work, and for my job on YouTube. I'm listening to every new album that comes out, and the grand tally is 37,000 minutes listened, I'm rounding up. Then, my top artist is Big Special, but none of their songs are in my top songs. How is that even possible? What does that even mean? And I wish that there was an album of the year section here because it would say that that big special record was my album of the year because I bumped it so much. But I can't really argue with this top five. This is pretty accurate. I do think I'd bump up Red Sun and I'd switch Combat and Ogbert, but overall that's exactly what I was expecting to see on my rap this year. But it just doesn't feel like me. It doesn't feel like what I did with my year at all. But the inaccuracies that I see in the data aren't just the only thing that are affected here. Like I've been on about, AI has taken over all these humans and everybody that got a Spotify wrapped got their own personalized AI podcast sent to them with these two disembodied, disengaged voices just from the ether, two absolute robots talking to each other about your year in music. It couldn't get less human. It couldn't get more scary. We are getting a glimpse into the dystopian future of AI content. And ladies and gentlemen, I hate this. They are tailoring content to individual users based on the data that they scraped from you. If you're a creative person, if you're a content creator, this is not an exciting thing to be learning. This is not an exciting curve to be at the bottom of right now. Because these people talking to one another sound kind of human-like, and as time goes on, it's going to become harder and harder to tell the difference between a robot and a human being unless you can see their flesh and blood in front of you. But let's just give you a little taste of my Wrapped AI podcast. And a lot of people I'm noticing that went through their Wrapped totally ignored this little podcast part of it. I implore you, open up your Spotify Wrapped AI podcast and just feel creeped out. Like these two people have been specifically spying on you for the last 365 days. Okay, Wrapped. Welcome to your 2024 Spotify Wrapped Deep Dive, Ooh. presented by Google's Notebook LM. We're here to unwrap an incredible year of music. That's right, we're excited to see what you've been listening to. Let's get right to it, huh? Absolutely. 36,007. <laughs> they don't even finish words. Did you see how she said absolutely? She went, absolutely. This is brutal. One more time for the people in back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bro, 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 bro. Let's just skip halfway through here. What else do you got for me, robot hosts? A vibe. Oh, I love that. Artists like Mouth F. Doom, Victor Vaughn. Who was that? Mouth F. Doom? Night music, East Coast hip hop vibe. Oh, I love that. Artists like Mouth F. Doom. Oh, Mouth F. Doom. I definitely listened to a lot of Mouth F. Doom this year. AI podcast. Holy sh dude. I hate this so much. This is brutal. And your love for Red Sun carried through the summer. And your love for Red Sun carried through the summer. <laughs> but by August, you were adding some fresh energy to the mix. Who are you listening to in August? Combat, a Baltimore band, yeah. and Ogbert the Nerd from New Jersey both made appearances. That is true. <laughs> this is very creepy. I hate everything about this. You listen to What Nietzsche Wanted by Swiss Army Wife. That's a great song. It came out in 2022, so it's been around for a couple of years now. And you also listen to Shit House by Big Special. <laughs> I definitely did listen to Shit House by Big Special a lot. Holy crap. Bro, I'm not a fan of this. Not only is there a wrapped AI podcast tailored to you specifically, but there's a wrapped AI DJ. This AI DJ has been a part of the platform for the entire year, and it sucks so much. But now, this DJ talks to you about the music you listen to, and then plays it for you. Here's a taste of what my personal wrapped DJ sounds like. Hey, what's up, Dan? It's your DJ X. You know, you're actually joining me at a special time here. You may have seen Spotify Wrapped recently dropped. Well, I'm jumping in on the fun, 
See, normally I'd be playing you a mix of music you've been listening to and new stuff I want you to hear. These days, though, with rap going on, I'm just going all in on your 2024 in music. I'll be highlighting a bunch of your personal listening stats from the year, and I'll be playing all your top artists' top songs, guilty pleasures, global hits. You're going to smile. You're going to nod your head. You're going to say DJ X while you calling me out like that. It's Spotify Rap Week. Let's get into it now with some... <laughs> and then I was going to kick into music. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yo, Dan, I'm a robot that's been paying attention to everything you've been doing this year. I've been watching when you've been pooping, when you've been peeing, when you've been in the shower. I've been seeing you, bro. <laughs> Dog, I hate this. I hate it a lot. Like, my spine is tingling with creepiness right now. There is no soul, no life, no energy, just robots spying on you and bragging about it. It's nothing but a robot flex over here this year. Very, very creepy. This is the most egregious example of AI data scraping that I've ever seen, and then they just serve it up to you on a silver platter, being like, hey, we've been spying on you, isn't it fun? Like, no, go away. Leave me alone. Now, data scraping isn't going anywhere, but wrapping it up, no pun intended, and putting it right in your face like this with a couple robots telling it to you? My god, it's so creepy, bro. Did you listen to your AI DJ or AI podcast? I wanna know. If you follow me on Blue Sky or Instagram, send me your wrapped. I wanna see these statistics. But for now, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Have a good one.